2020 marks the year that should have been celebrated as the 75th anniversary of the Glenuchert Highland Gathering and Games at Blairberg Park here in Drumna Drochet. The local area is rich in things to see and do. The village offers iconic sites such as Urquhart Castle, which lies upon the shores of our stunning and mysterious Loch Ness. The timeless views and scenery in the surrounding area is the answer for over 1.4 million visitors coming annually. After almost six years of World War II, Britain was desperate for community life to return to normal as soon as possible. For some sporting events, this was to take years, but the people of Glenurchart were well ahead of the game. Indeed, the war in the Far East still had almost a month to run when, in July 1945, the Minute Book records a public meeting was held in Drumnadrochet's Blairbeg Hall for the purpose of constituting the Glenurchart Highland Gathering. In the 17th century, youths were trained to arms using sports such as archery and tossing of the caber. It was decided for the youths to show their prowess by feats of strength and lifting heavy stones became the tried and tested method. As a result, the Highland Games were born, along with the competitiveness of playing the bagpipes and male dancing, allowing them to demonstrate their strength and stamina. In 1954, a vital milestone had been reached with the change from professional to amateur games. The athletes you see here today are all amateurs and the Glenuchert Highland Gathering and Games has long had the tradition of attracting the very best performers in both sports for what is regarded by all as the jewel in the crown. At one time, the games were held at Borlam before they moved to their current location at Blairberg Park where a much flatter surface was provided for events. From then on through to the millennium, the Games built a reputation and status for the area, with highlights making their way into the local newspapers. The competitors broke records as well as the odd caber, and the memorable day continued to flourish with the aid of the dedicated committee and community. A sense of pride was built as a result for the volunteers as well as the competitors. Events such as the Glen Challenge were born thanks to Mr. Peter English. His original thought to have the forebearers from the West attend the games on foot would allow locals to enjoy the morning light and beautiful scenery on the way. This mix has survived over the years and the locals have been joined by competitors from athletic clubs and visitors to the area. The Highland dress is typically worn for our heavy events, as well as the kilt race, which acts as one of the closing occurrences for the day. In 2017, we witnessed a new world youth record as George Evans tossed a whopping 42 pound weight over a 17 foot 8 inch bar. These achievements and endless talents are witnessed throughout the whole day from our display of Highland dancers, junior and senior piping events, the tug of war, long and high jump, and variety of races, whether it's on wheels or foot, for competition or just for fun. The day provides massive enjoyment for all ages, increasingly so after introducing the mini Highland Games for youngsters held on the all-weather pitch, not to mention the rides and face painting which are a highlight for the parents too. In the past, we've even had the pleasure of welcoming public figures, as well as local celebrities, who go by the name of the Glenuchert Shinty Boys. Local organisations such as the Child Care and Day Care Centre are supported by the Games, aiding in their fundraising. Natasha McNichol represents a number of these, as well as the local Shinty Club. Here, Natasha tells us a bit about how they benefit from the Games. Obviously, the Games are very good with uh, allowing local organisations to have a pitch uh, with a stall on the actual day, which provides a good fundraising opportunity and just uh, being out and about in the community. You know, it's always always handy for us to, to remind people who we are and where we are and what we do. As well as that, it also uh, provides a good platform for the local Shinty Club. The, the Shinty Club have taken on the task of running the, running the dance uh, 
uh, and providing the bar for the day. Yeah, the pipe band marching in at five is, I'd say, definitely one of the highlights of the day for everybody. It tends to be very merry by that stage of the day. Sort of more specifically as well, behind us you can see our housing project and the games gave us a, a, a donation there um, to, to help get that up and running, really. Isla Urquhart recently decided to follow in her father's footsteps of getting involved in the games. Isla shares with us her volunteering role and what the games means to her. I started to do the VIP tent I think two or three years ago, uh, looking after all the people that help and volunteer and all the v VIPs. <laughs> the games wouldn't be here without all the amazing volunteers and sponsors that enable it to be as awesome as it is. The Drum Games is like Highland Games, there's many of them and a lot of tourists come and they bring a lot of money for us and keep the games going. But most importantly, it's about all the locals coming. You come back to the village and you're driving through and you see like the first sign of the shows arriving and you're like, oh, it's coming, it's happening. And you get pumped and excited. Yeah, and it just wouldn't be here without us and the younger generations coming up and starting to help as well. Our current chieftain, Mr. Donald McLean of Upperton Farm, known as Doey, has lived in the same house in Glenurchart since birth, which is a current local record. In that time, he has seen the games develop and still volunteers to this day. Doey shares with us some of his first experiences of the Glenurchart Highland Games. I uh, have been going to the games since the war and I only missed once since then. I used to participate early on and I got the cap for the, the walker cap for the under 15s. It's now been changed to a girl's cap and this uh, entertains my family. Every one of them loves to laugh at their grandfather who has his name on a girl's cap. Our offerings of medals, cups, quakes and even money are typically awarded to winners by our chieftains who have gone under the names of Donald Paul, Pat Veach, Ian Tasker, William Owen and Doey McLean in the last decade. As a tradition, the games open and close with the British Legion Pipe Band. The annual performance of the band acts as a huge attraction for the area and can be seen as a highlight of the day for everybody. The band acts as a lead to the evening events where celebrations are seen through to the early hours at Blairbeg Hall. It would not be possible to provide these events without the willing helpers who look after the safety and welfare of competitors. Over 75 years, the people of Glenurchart have striven to create Highland magic for you, the spectator, and you, the competitor. Let us all work together to make sure that this proud tradition lasts for another 75 years and another 75 years after that. We hope that 2020 will be the only year we have to cancel the games and you will all be able to come and celebrate with us here at Glenarchet Highland Games, Loch Ness, Drumnadrochet.